I watch Netflix's first match. Um, basically, it's about this girl. She like in foster home, foster care, whatever. Um, she has plans to move with her dad when he comes out of prison. Up, oh, surprise! He's already out. Didn't tell anybody. It's crazy. Um, the whole way of reconnecting is by wrestling, um, cause he did it in high school, or whenever. I don't know. Um, and basically, yeah, it just follows them and like, and then he gets her into some hijinks that compromises her um, school duties and responsibilities. Um, it basically just shows like her like adapting to a negative, another negative scenario, but this one will have a bigger influence on her because it's her parent. Um, so it just shows that, uh, I like about this movie, like it could have gone like Law and Order SVU type of way, but it didn't, which is one reason why I'm holding off on watching Roxanne, Roxanne, because you get something, you gotta be in the mood to see some like, Law and Order SVU type shit, and I've, I'm glad this one didn't turn out the way it was like, this is like a build up, like you watch this, and then, oh, by the way, watch Roxanne, Roxanne, because it's more serious, um, but it's a good movie, um, I watched it by chance, um, I need a background noise while I clean and end up watching the movie, um, I think it's pretty good, well acted. It falls into like some kind. It's kind of a little bit. Pre it's kind of predictable, but and not in a way to where you're annoyed by it. But so like more so like you want to see how she reacts to it. Um, but yeah, I say check it out. Netflix's first first match. Um, yeah, it's like an hour and twenty minutes long. It's not that bad.